Hello, I am Mr. Fixit, your host for ES Repair. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take transfer files from an old hard drive to your new computer. I'm sure everybody has files that they want to keep. When your computer dies, well, there ain't much you can do. But take the hard drive out, assuming it still works, and I'm going to show you how you can save the data on that hard drive and transfer it to your new computer and it's fairly simple here is everything you'll need the adapter in this case comes with a power supply unit to power the SATAs and the IDE 40 pin drive comes with the adapter comes with the CD the CDs that got drivers for people who are using 98 Windows. If you're using XP, Vista, or uh, Windows 7, the drivers are built into Windows database and does not require the CD. You also get the adapter to convert your 12 volt to a SATA power couple. You also get a data cable for the SATA drives. And of course you're going to need a hard drive. Now as you can see this is the adapter. It's an, I, an, ID, an IDE SATA to USB adapter. These can be found on internet. Just use your favorite search engine and look for these types of adapters. They're sometimes called USB to IDE SATA drive or vice versa. Here you have a 44 pin connector. This is for the two and a half inch drives from laptops. You also have the SATA connector and the SATA connector is for the three and a half inch drives you also have an indicator that shows you the activity of the hard drive and a reset button. And you also have the 40 pin, 3.5 inch IDE drive connector. These are the 40 pins. Don't get them confused because these are the 44 pins because these have built in power connectors for the 2.5 inch drives. And of course, you got the USB connector. Now, the process is very, very simple. First, I'm going to demonstrate how to hook up a two and a half inch laptop drive. Let me get the drive. This is my two and a half inch drive I'm going to use in this demonstration. As you can see, you have the connectors in the back. The four isolated pins on this side in the group you do not use. But these, the 44 pins over here, you do. They also have a keyhole that prevents you from connecting the adapter incorrectly. Do not force the adapter on here otherwise damage will occur. Next, you take the adapter in this case, we got to use the 44 pin. You take the adapter and you just slowly insert it, just like that, and you have yourself your very own adapter. Now, since this hard drive doesn't use very much power, it doesn't require an external power source. This can be powered by the USB hub that's in your computer. A three and a half inch IDE hard drive, as you can see here. Well, all you have to do is it's got the tab on here to where you can't hook these up incorrectly. 
you line up your adapter, put the connector in place, and then gently insert it securely. Now, as you can see, as I mentioned earlier, this one, in previous videos, this is a power connector for these IDE and SATA drives. This is particularly for the IDEs. All you have to do is take your power adapter that came with the USB adapter, such as this. Be sure you, you watch, you check the indentations on these drives or on these power connectors. You don't want to incorrectly hook these up. You will fry the hard drive if you do. Gently just insert it. You don't want to force it too much to where you get a good connection. And there you go. Your hard drive is now connected. Next, all you need to do is once the thing is connected, is plug your power up. It takes a few seconds for it to power up. And as you may have heard, you heard it spin up and the heads reset. This indicates that the drive is ready now. It's powered and ready to go. The center drive is slightly different. As you can see here, we need the adapt power adapter to convert this into this. We also have the data connector all we have to do is take the power connector, plug the converter in, make sure you get your indentations correct, make sure they're not incorrectly because if you do you will fry your hard drive. Now once you have your adapter plugged in and you got your set in power cord, there's only one way these things will go on. So all you have to do is line the hole up, plug it in, and there you go. That's all there is to that. Then you take your data adapter, plug it into the slot next to it, just like that. That's all there is to it. It's not that hard. Then, take your adapter, use the SATA connector, take your SATA, plug it in. That's all there is to it. Then once again, you just have to plug, your, plug the power supply in. Just like that. Gives it a few minutes, and you hear it spin up. This means that the hard drive is spinning and ready to go. All you gotta do is take this and just plug it into an available USB. Your computer recognizes it, installs the necessary drivers that it may need. You will also notice the light on the adapter. You will also hear the heads move around while the computer checks it. This indicator will tell you the activity that's going on with the hard drive. When it's flashing, it means that data is being transferred, as you see here. Next, we see that the computer has detected that the hard drive has files written on it. What you can do is what I do is open the folder to view files. Now as you can see there's a file that I have written on the drive. This file I need to transfer. So what I do next is right click it Choose copy, 
Then go down here, click on the start, go to my user folder, go to the folder that I want to put my files in, create it if you have to, and as you can see here, this is empty. Now you just right click the background, choose paste. And there you go. It's going to transfer your files. Now once you're done, you can keep the drive, use it for extra storage, or you can delete everything that's off of it by either reformatting the drive a couple of times or just entirely delete the partition and reformat it to make sure that any personal information that you have on that drive is erased. So if you decide not to keep it or give it to somebody else, there's no personal information on that drive. Well, that's it. That's all you have to do to transfer files from an old hard drive to your new computer. I hope you enjoyed this program. Stay tuned for more coming up on YouTube.